Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another green light unboxing video. And as usual, we've got a case of green light from here uh, here that came to me from my good friend Dicastrum, who orders pretty much all new series of green light as they come out. And then they ship to my house and they eventually end up getting forwarded on to him. Um, but he lets me unbox this stuff on my channel, which is cool. We get to see together if he scores a chase or not, if he scores a green machine and all that. And uh, we get to go ahead and open this up and find out. So, without further ado, let's get into Black Bandit Series 24, which is the latest series from Black Bandit. And I don't know for sure, but this is, okay, 24. I think this is the current series, and I'm wondering if this is the debut of the Corvette casting i don't know if it is or not i don't keep up with this stuff too much i see pictures of series that come out but honestly green light comes out with so much stuff it's really hard to keep up with uh, what series number is going and uh it's kind of cool though because i do like to be surprised here as we pull these out of the box i don't like necessarily knowing what we're going to see it's just kind of fun for me to actually see these in person and uh and check them out Oh yeah, but this is definitely the one because I just saw this right here, 2020 Chevy Corvette C8 Stingray. So I'm excited to see this tooling and um, I think we're gonna open it up right away when we do see it. So the first thing is a 1970 Plymouth Satellite Station Wagon. So pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I got a version of this tooling yet. Oh, it's got like blacked out windows like frosted black windows i wonder if all the cars in the series are going to have that it's kind of interesting um anyway this this tooling has been out for a little bit it's uh, been out as a police uh, version i believe um i think it's shown up in the estate wagon series i think it uh, no there's painted taillights uh painted headlights on this one no inserts um, it's kind of a decent tooling. I just haven't seen a version that I really fell in love with, so I haven't picked it up yet, but I will get an example of it at some point. Uh, next is the 1982 Ford Mustang SSP, which uh, is a pretty cool Mustang tooling. Um, fairly recent tooling. Uh, they've done a couple different Fox bodies. Uh, this is the latest version of the Fox body Mustang that they've done. 82 flavor and they did a pretty good job with it I must say definitely can't go wrong with adding another Fox body tooling to your tooling catalog and uh, as always these uh, these Mustangs are just a, a fan favorite uh, for 164 scale die cast collectors for sure alright this one's a hot one the 1994 Ford Escort RS Cosworth um, this is one of my favorite green light toolings of all time. And yes, it does appear that they are doing that blacked out window thing on all of these. Some black bandit, bandit logoing, all that stuff. I don't think I'm going to go ham on this casting and try to get every version. So I may bypass this one uh, just because it's just a black version of the car it looks good it looks awesome actually but it's got this little ghost black bandit logoing and stuff like that on the side which i could honestly do without that's just me i love the wheels on this car kind of would have been cool if they would have blacked out the rims but the tooling itself is absolutely fantastic i love it it's one of the best green lights ever um, I do have a few versions of it already. I think three versions of it. And uh, I might skip this one just because I'm kind of just, I'm not going to get things these days unless I really, really like them. And that's okay. All right. And I am not pers purposely leaving this Corvette new tooling for last. It's just the way we're pulling them out of the box here. Um, so this is the fourth one. We got this 2016 Ford Shelby GT350. This is a fairly new tooling. Uh, from Greenlight, and uh, this looks absolutely fantastic in this satin. Are they all satin black? No, this one's kind of glossy. That one's glossy. This one's satin black with tinted windows and just looks mean. Like, this would be one I would consider picking up. 
It'll be this one. Oh, we always look at numbers too at the base. We should look at these numbers just because you can actually see them. 3190, 1197, uh, 3293. But anyway, uh, that's a good one. This is a good one. Blacked out rims, blacked out everything. It just looks mean and really cool. So this one I would definitely consider picking out. For a black bandit, this is, that's a good one. All right. The 1987 Plymouth Grand Fury. This is also a newer tooling from Greenlight. And it's a really nice tooling. In its this blacked out state, it looks pretty good. Does it actually have painted taillights? I thought I had inserted taillights. I think they're inserts. I think they're inserts actually up front too, but they're painted inserts. Low number on this one, 452. Not that it really matters at all, but... That's a cool one, too. That's another one I would think about. This one, I think, actually would look better without the black hubcaps. If it had uh, uh, silver hubcaps, I think it would look better, even though it's blacked out like this. Uh, but a pretty cool car. So far, though, that Mustang takes the cake. All right, lastly, here we go. We get the brand-new 2020 Corvette C8 Stingray. And uh, this one, we got to take a quick look at. Um, we are going to open this up, I think. Hopefully, uh, my buddy is okay with us doing that and showing this. Um, I think I might have to get the Mini GT out to compare it. But let's go ahead and cut it open gonna take a look at her loose there you go boom 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 2318 I'll open this up I will repackage it send it back to him and it's got a rubber band on it we are gonna remove that no side mirrors don't have to worry about that just pull it right off the front so it looks like this top's going to be removable, and it is. It kind of just sits up here. Let's see if I can get back in the right spot. It kind of doesn't fit all that well, so I'm going to say it looks better without it. So this is the yeah, C8 Stingray from Greenlight, which we are going to see in Auto World, I think, still yet later this year. So we get inserted details for headlights, inserted details for taillights, and not bad. I think they did a pretty darn good job with this. Now you got to remember these are going to be only like six dollars, right? GL202 looks good. Um, you guys hang on for just a second because I'm gonna go grab the mini GT so just take a look at this I'm not pausing the video just take a quick look <clears throat> all right so this mini GT is essentially the same car um, same color and everything it's black And here is the Mini GT. Does not have the removable uh, top bit, uh, but as we just kind of said here, the, the top really doesn't, I mean, it sits on there, but it doesn't really sit on there all that good, and it doesn't seem to actually really fit all that well up there. If you're gonna take pictures of this thing, you're gonna take pictures of this thing with the top off. Uh, so the Mini GT's got side mirrors and stuff. It does definitely look better. But it's more expensive, so that's part of why. Uh, I mean, Mini GT does do a fantastic job, too. So they are identical in size, so it appears like they're both 164 scale. So they both did a good job scaling the car. But 
yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, I gotta say, I mean, not a bad job from Greenlight. Um, you know, this Mini GT costs double to three times as much. So they are able to put a little bit more detail into it, but I, I definitely think that uh, that Greenlight did a good job, though. You guys let me know what you think. And I, I would say that aside from this, it's cool that they opted to do this, but it really doesn't look great on this. And I'm not sure because the windshield, like the windshield on this, now that I'm looking at it close, the windshield's kind of like popped up like this. Almost like this is bent down. So I don't know if they're all going to kind of look like that or what. Do you see that? So that's a little goofy. And uh, it makes this look goofier. But I probably will pick one of these up because I, I do want to have the first version of this in the collection. I believe this is the first release so far from Greenlight. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Other than this one, though, I will say the Mustang is definitely a uh, one to get. That's pretty sweet. Alright, thank you guys very much for watching. Please check out my other videos. Check out the other Greenlight videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day.